I have the Google Pixel 8 here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to install the Lineage OS 21 custom ROM on this phone, as well as the Pixel 8a and the Pixel 8 Pro. Now, to begin, you first need to make sure that the phone has Android 14 installed on it. Since the current stable version of Lineage OS is based on this version of Android, then Android 14 needs to be installed, as there will be issues if you have Android 15 beta on it, for example. You will also want to make sure that you don't have another custom ROM installed on the phone, so it's best to use the Android Flash tool to get back to the latest stable stock version. The Lineage OS team also recommends that you boot into Android 14 at least once, if it's a freshly formatted device, and check to make sure that SMS works and that you can send and receive phone calls, since some devices require voice over LTE and voice over Wi-Fi to be utilized once on stock in order to provision the IMS. In order to install Lineage OS on the Pixel 8, Pixel 8 Pro, or Pixel 8a, you will also need to have the bootloader unlocked. This is something that I've already covered here on the channel, so instead of making this video longer than it needs to be, I'll be sure to include a link to that guide in the video description below. And I'll have that link in the pinned comment here as well, so that it's easy for everyone to find. Next, you're going to want to make sure that you have developer mode enabled so that you can enable the USB debugging feature. If you're not familiar with how to do either of these, then again, I'll have guides linked below to show you how it's done. Lastly, you will need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your PC since we use those to flash the files. Now, we're going to need to download three different Lineage OS files for your specific device. So you're going to need to grab the boot.image file, the DTBO image file, and the vendor kernel boot image file. Now we will also need to download the vendor boot image file later and the firmware, but that will come a little later. All three of these files need to be stored in the same folder as your ADB and Fastboot tools. These files are found on the download page for Lineage OS, which I'll be sure to have linked down below for the Pixel 8, Pixel 8a, and the Pixel 8 Pro. Now with all of these files downloaded, we're going to reboot the device into fastboot mode. So we do that by restarting the phone and then holding the volume down button while the device boots back up. And again, if you're not familiar with fastboot mode, I'll have the full guide linked down below. Now we're going to connect this phone to the PC with a USB cable and then open up a command prompt, terminal, or Windows PowerShell within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. And again, be sure to have all three of those Lineage OS image files in that same folder as well. So again, our Google Pixel 8 is in Fastboot mode. It's connected to the PC with a USB cable. And we can confirm the connection is good by typing out the command Fastboot space devices and pressing enter. As long as we get a response with some alphanumeric characters and the term fastboot, then our connection is good. So we're going to first begin by executing this command, fastboot space flash space boot space boot.img. And we're going to press enter. You should see that file being sent to a boot partition, and it'll either be boot underscore A or boot underscore B, and then it will write that file 
to that partition. And we should get two OK messages right there. Then we're going to type out the command fastboot space flash space DTBO space DTBO dot IMG. And we're going to press enter. And again, you should see the same thing. You should see that file being sent, that file being written, and an OK message for both. Next, we're going to type out the command fastboot space flash space vendor underscore kernel underscore boot space vendor underscore kernel underscore boot dot img as these are the files that we have downloaded from Lineage OS. And again, make sure it's sent, make sure it's written, and we get an OK message on both of those. Now that those three files have been flashed, we're going to go back to the Lineage OS download page and we're going to grab the vendor underscore boot dot image file. We're going to put that file in the same folder as our ADB and fastboot tools. And while our phone is still in fastboot mode, we're going to execute the command fastboot space flash space vendor underscore boot space vendor underscore boot dot IMG. We're going to press enter on the keyboard to flash this file to the Pixel 8 Pro. The same as before, make sure the file is sent, make sure the file is written, and that we get an OK message for both of them. From here, we're going to use the hardware buttons to make sure the recovery mode option is highlighted, and we're going to press the power button to select it. That's going to reboot our Pixel 8 from fastboot mode into recovery mode, and since we have flashed that vendor underscore boot image file, this is to confirm that the installation for Lineage OS recovery went smoothly. So after that warning screen, you'll get the Google logo. And if everything went correctly, you should boot directly into Lineage OS recovery instead of the stock Android recovery. So while we are in this recovery, we're going to go down, highlight the factory reset option, and press the power button to select it, and then confirm that we do want to format data and factory reset. So confirm format data. And this will remove the encrypted data from the phone and get it ready for the Lineage OS firmware. At the bottom, you'll see that the data wipe is complete. So we can go back to the main menu here. Next, we're going to highlight the apply update option and press the power button to select it. And then we're going to apply from ADB. So we're going to press the power button to select it again. Now we are in ADB sideload mode. So while the phone is in sideload mode, we type out the command ADB space dash D space sideload space and then the full file name for that big Lineage OS firmware that we downloaded. I recommend you just start typing out the file name and then press tab so that it auto completes it for us. Then we're going to press enter on the keyboard. And you should see the screen on your Pixel 8 change as it is now accepting this large firmware file. The Lineage OS team says that sometimes this number will get stuck at around 47%, I believe. But as long as we get a success message, then everything is good. So we're just going to wait patiently. Don't mess with the Google Pixel 8. Don't mess with your USB cable. We want to maintain a secure connection so that everything goes smoothly. Once 
this gets to 47%, like I mentioned, you'll see the phone change from verifying the package update to installing the package update. You can see it's at step one of two. And again, we're just going to wait and let the Lineage OS recovery install the firmware for us. This will take a little bit of time, but just be patient while it completes. Once it gets through step two of two, you'll see this screen pop up telling you to install additional packages. You need to reboot to recovery first. So we're gonna go ahead and reboot to recovery. The phone will turn off. It'll turn right back on, but it'll take us back into Lineage OS recovery again. This is so that we can install any add-ons, Magisk being a popular option. However, this is not required. For those who do want to install add-ons like Magisk, the Lineage OS recovery will tell you that the signature verification has failed. This is an expected error since that zip file is not signed with the Lineage OS key. So you'll just want to tell it to continue with installing the file. I would rather save that for a different video since again, this one's getting pretty long, but whenever you're ready, we're gonna make sure the reboot system now option is highlighted and we're gonna press the power button to select it. This will finally boot our Pixel 8a into Lineage OS for the first time. But remember, since this is our first boot into the custom ROM, this first boot will take longer than normal. Look for that Lineage OS animation. And again, we just wait patiently. I do want to point out that Lineage OS on its own does not come with things like the Google Play Store. That is a popular add-on. So be sure to stay tuned here on the channel as I'll include different video guides on how to install those add-ons like Google Apps, Magisk, things like that. I'm just gonna skip us through this activation screen and get us booted into Android. Now, if you had any issues following this guide, then be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know which part you had a conflict with. But if this guide did help you out, please remember to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android content like this.